guys wreck with Molly rolls around. <laughs> Uh, but what I did, I want to work with the dumbbell a little bit today just to get him on the holding. And I think you have to say, okay, well, if holding is a separate subtask, then just do that. It's, you, if you said what would be the wrong thing to do, just try to string everything together in the beginning like people do. You're just doing it as separate. So if I just said, well, I'm just going to do the hold, then that's separate from the finding. Anyway, but I've hidden the keys over there, and I put it between the footstools. He's really going to have to look. It's It's... Under that, it's between the thing right there. Or I got the dumbbell under my arm, and I think you've got to have, you know, you've got to structure that too. You've got to structure that there's something the handler has that's off limits. Not this. Okay, I'm gonna get over a little bit farther. I'm already, I'm turning just into a total schlub if you're there. <laughs> job is to convincingly look as though I see something. If I always look, I always see something, and then he always sees something where I'm looking. <laughs> He's turning into Crash. He's turning into Crash. So that's obvious guarding behavior. a kid. When we all three kids had to sit in the back, you just had to make micro movements, and that's where people go wrong with, with their body language. <laughs> He's like a bulldozer. Let's just put it this way. If your keys fall under something, a big rock or something, don't worry. Don't worry. He'll just push it out of the way with his head. It is a very, very unusual. So that's kind of a separate... He sorry, already picks up the leash and stuff. He's actively looking for things to pick up, which, you know, if you give me another year of doing this, I'm going to have a lot better. i got to be careful, though, that he doesn't uh, head for the... <laughs> That's why I'm going to use the dumbbell for the camera. But what I want to do, too, is... And I'll just act like I have the keys. I'll just put the keys back in my... Hi, Mike. Hi, Sally. Come on, Sally. That was beyond cute. I'm changing his name to Tonka. Angus Tonka. That's his last name. Now, if something gets in the way, don't you worry. He'll Tonka it right out of the way. And I mean, it did seem like he... Yeah, I think people don't give him enough time. And that's what you didn't do. I'm going to show uh, your video to Mike, Sally. You almost had it. If that dog would have been with me, Sally's like, please, don't rub it in. Uh, I would have had it doing it. It was trying to do it. It was trying to figure out what you wanted. But again, it, I want you to think of it as you go to uh, another country. You don't speak the language. You sort of start to get the idea what they're talking about. But then it just goes on and on to the point you finally say, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that all is all about. Well, he's going to probably start pulling the wagon. He, we need to get some kind of little dog and pony show going here with this, that one, getting on its back, riding, pulling a wagon, you know. I don't know what all. Anything to go viral. Hats, glasses, all of this shit. <laughs> Sally's like, what? Oh, yes, the show is now rated G. I, I, I snapped again at this woman on YouTube. I don't know what it is. I, I have a snap effect on there when they're anonymous especially, which they weren't. Put on my uh, video, stop breeding. Well, that's the answer then. You armchair activist, I'm sure you can see where it went from there. You armchair activist. Da, 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 da. All right, so. Mike and Chelsea, if you're there, we need to write this down. At a certain point in the relationship, you need to allow the behavior just to occur as a default. I didn't call him or do anything. It just occurred as a default. I did do the page right here, but, that, but then... 
And, and if I'm in the house, and this is what you need to do, Chelsea, if I am getting ready to go out the door, I bump it and then turn and go. It is as long as it's always happening, as long as it's always happening in conjunction with if somebody texts me and says they're coming over and then they don't show up I don't know about you but I start losing faith real fast if it happens again well I probably never you know I don't believe anything they say after that and people need to understand that's the same way with dogs and that when you are giving them these corrections and stuff if, if somebody makes me uncomfortable at all and if you had to say you know well, the low level isn't uncomfortable. Well, it was designed to be slight discomfort versus no discomfort. There's people can give me, this guy yesterday, this yogi calling me. I don't even know this guy. I don't even know. Do well, let me introduce myself. Who cares? And then introduce yourself. I said, I'm not looking for new friends. I'm breaking down, Angus. I'm breaking down. Uh, Angus is like, who cares? But what I'm thinking to myself is I do, the dog is terrible on the leash. So, if you said flexi leashes are awful, I don't think they are as a training tool in conjunction with the training director. I want you to think of that, Mike. It, it's, a, it's a training tool for the handler. Obviously, you're not going to just set out with this dog out in public with this thing, but the benefit of it is you don't have a lot of, you don't have a lot of leash hanging down, because that's where I'll look at these So I'm just kind of letting all these things occur as a default. All right, he's hinky about getting a leash on him. If you said, why? Oh, he's probably had every kind of prong. And Oh, no, I'm sure we can go find PetSmart footage somewhere of the people buying the biggest prong they can find. <laughs> so the reason this is good is because there isn't all this hanging down. safeguard the ability if you said what should you safeguard with these an, an ability to accelerate an ability to accelerate just by your body language if you're going come on come on come on hurry up well that's that's not gonna work that's gonna make them go slower and that was always a big thing um, you know before I started using the collar and stuff what would happen would you would start getting dogs that really lagged behind and the caveat of that is you, you can't correct lagging. And if you said, why? Because you created it. All right, let me put the green thing back down here because I like that. I act particularly thrilled when he gets on there. He's like a dancing bear. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. 
He's like a dancing bear. All right, let's get up here and do it up here. So right there, I just did the pager and walked away, but I did augment my hand. Yeah, oh no, that's what it is. He's a dancing bear. Come along. Sally wants to see you dancing a bear. Sally's like, no, I don't. Yes, you do, Sally. All right, let me make sure he's in the shot. I think that's a pretty good idea, though, don't you, Mike? You know, if you can get him spinning on the platform, hell. And I know people do stuff like this, but they do it all, for some reason they do it on that balance ball and if you said is that a good I don't think it is and if you said why the same reason the cod isn't good um, because it, it's it's not a hard surface that they're not gonna get air and stuff. if I still had the cots he's like a little dancing bear it's helping him bend So right there, I just kind of said, oh, Sally, are you loving the dancing bear? Hi, Randy. Oh, Randy wants to see the dancing bear. Randy's like, no, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> He's a dancing bear. That's what he is. So he gets rewarded just for getting up there. But he's just, <laughs> I have to act real excited. <laughs> it's just like your child at the dance recital. Think of it that way, Randy. Sure, the kid has bad timing and... Terrible footwork and can't dance, but yay! Not your kid, Randy. Yay! Yay! Uh, anyway, new invention. Dancing bear, we call this the dancing bear. But if you said, where is that gonna come in handy? It's my turn to it. It's my turn to it, so watch. There's my pager. Yes, thank you for the applause. That's what they need to have on here, applause, don't you think? Not just the love button, applause. The twisting. I've got the pager though, Sally, that's my benefit. If you said you could do it without the pager, I could, but it, it wouldn't go as fast and it wouldn't be as flashy it, that's the you know it, it, it makes everything faster flashier and think of something else that starts with an F mic that we can you know have a little slogan but that that's the reality of it I could give this thing to you and say when I move and hit that thing as soon as you feel that thing move as soon as you feel that pager move that, that's all he's thinking to himself as soon as I feel that I move but he does I can tell you right now he does see it as a platform and I could see where you would have other dogs. You dancing, dancing bear. He's my dancing, dancing bear. I tried to put this wig on him yesterday. Uh, that's my goal, really, Mike, is to really to train him to wear this wig. <laughs> I'm telling you, this training is very, very fun and exciting. All right, I'm just going to kind of ditch my holding right now because he gets kind of cooked. And you do. He can't do any better. Oh, Sally's applauding. He can't do any better than that dancing bear routine. All right, you guys, I'll be right back.